Hey, in this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating a catalog manager role. I know this is needed if you have a multiple catalog um, type of solution where you have different teams managing different products uh, based on catalog and you want to have um, some, some separation of permissions so that um, teams can't access catalogs that, that they're not supposed to. Uh, now, this can happen in a single company when you have multiple teams working on different brands or product lines. It might also happen when you have uh, situations where vendors can actually manage their own products through a catalog. We have a scenario where you have multiple catalogs. Each vendor gets to manage his or her own products. Um, so for either of those situations, you're going to want to create a new role and restrict that role so they can only access products in their catalog. All right, to do that, I'm logged in right now as a portal admin. I happen to be using Chris at Minium. Um, he has portal admin role. And what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a new role. And it will be a regular role. Um, and we're just going to use Speedwell here as an example. So this is a Speedwell catalog manager role. And the permissions that we need to add are pretty straightforward. If we want to let them manage all aspects of the catalog, we would need to give them permission to access the catalog in the control panel. And if we want them to manage products, we'll need to give them permission to manage products in the control panel. And because we're giving them access to manage the catalog and the products, there's one other permission we need to give them. This one's kind of a, a tricky one because it's, it's definitely not intuitive. Um, but if you don't give it this permission, you will see an error message to let you know um, that you need to give them the ability to manage currencies. So manage currencies. And again, that one is under general permissions. So we have um, widget level permissions to access the catalog widget and the product widgets in the control panel and then the ability to manage currencies. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go to commerce, go to our catalogs. We have Minium and Speedwell available right now. For Speedwell, I'm going to go into the permissions here. And for my Speedwell catalog manager, I'm going to allow the Speedwell catalog manager to update um, and view that catalog. We'll save that. Um, I've already created a user. Uh, so I've created a new user in the system, uh, Maria Gomez. She is the catalog manager for the Speedwell division. So I'm going to give her this Speedwell catalog manager role. And then over here in a new browser incognito, I'm going to log in as Maria. And when she logs in, if she goes into the control panel, she has access to catalogs and products. If she goes to catalog, she can see Speedwell. She could make changes here if she needed to. And in the products, she can see the products that are related to Speedwell. So she can see 50 products, uh, whereas Chris, Chris is a full portal admin. When he goes in and looks at products, he can see 100 products because there are 50 for Minium and 50 for Speedwell. Okay. Uh, so Maria can uh, edit products, maybe break rotors as an example. She can edit uh, product details. She can edit information like price. Now, there are some things that she won't be able to do. Um, inventory, for example. We haven't given her any permissions related to inventory. Uh, that's a different set of, of uh, permissions that we would need to define. Um, but oftentimes, the um, inventory would be managed by somebody else. So um, in this scenario, it's fine. If you needed to, you could always go back and, and keep adding permissions. Um, if you don't want to give somebody the ability to manage the catalog itself, you only want to give them the ability to manage the products. Uh, what you could do is you could also restrict that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Speedwell Catalog Manager again. I'll go into the permissions and I'm going to remove the, the widget level access and control panel and the widget level view on catalogs. And now for Maria, if she were to come back in here, um, she can't access the catalogs anymore, but she can still manage products. Um, and so that might be a situation, again, where you have a, a team, maybe a manager that can actually uh, manage the full catalog, and then you have other people that can only manage the products within the catalog. Um, you could use that to, to demonstrate that ability as well. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.